So at the time of recording this, Liverpool have reportedly rejected a 100 million euro offer for Philippe Coutinho. And the Reds have once again told Barcelona that the Brazilian playmaker is not for sale for any price. But will that put the Catalans off? Well, judging by some of the players that we're going to have a look at today, we're guessing not. So here are nine players that clubs said were not for sale, but then sold them. Number one, Robin Van Persie. In 2012, RVP was a man in demand. He had just smashed 30 goals in in just 38 games. The likes of Juventus, Barcelona and Real Madrid were all after him. However, Arsenal insisted that he wasn't for sale. In fact, Gunners chairman Peter Hill Wood said, Robin isn't for sale and we haven't got any bids for him. Just over a month after he said that, Arsenal had sold their star striker to bitter Premier League rivals Man United for 22.5 million. Number two, Cristiano Ronaldo. I wouldn't sell a virus to that mob, is what Sir Alex Ferguson said in December 2008 when asked if he would let Ronaldo go to Real Madrid. And that was something that David Gill also said, saying that Ronaldo would not leave for any price and he'd already signed a new long-term contract. However, fast forward to June, and Man United had accepted an £80 million bid for CR7, who smashed the transfer record and eventually joined Real. Number 3, Raheem Sterling. This transfer saga seemed to last forever. Sterling wanted to leave Liverpool, Man City wanted to sign him, but Liverpool didn't want to sell him. Then Sterling claimed he was happy at Liverpool, and then he wasn't, so God knows what was happening there. However, what we do know is that Brendan Rodgers and the Liverpool hierarchy consistently told City and the media that they would not be selling Raheem. So what did they do, you ask? Well, they sold him for £44 million. Number 4, Gareth Bale. After banging in 21 goals in just 33 games for Spurs, Bale was wanted by both Man United and Real Madrid. However, Bale only wanted to join Real, but Daniel Levy insisted that he wasn't for sale. Levy then allowed Madrid to speak to the player only to hold up the negotiations to squeeze every last penny from the La Liga giants. Bale obviously did move in the end, but Levy could not make his mind up if he actually wanted to let him go or not. Number 5, Luis Suarez. Be worried Liverpool fans, because this has happened twice already on this list. Ian Eyre went on to the BBC to reiterate that Liverpool had no desire to sell Suarez, and not only was the player happy, but he had just signed a new deal the season before. Three months later, and Suarez was a Barcelona player, having joined for 64 million. Number six, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Thiago Silva. Asimo Allegri said that they're not for sale. They're both very high value players and both of them will definitely stay at Milan. And it took less than six weeks to go back on those words as PSG signed both players in a combined deal worth around 62 million. Don't trust anything your club says. Number seven, Fernando Torres. Oh dear god Liverpool fans, seriously, be worried. In October 2010, John Henry took to Liverpool's website to reiterate that Torres was not for sale for any price. And then he did it again in January, saying that there was absolutely no way that the club was going to sell Torres, especially not to a club like Chelsea. Guess what, three days later, Torres was a Chelsea player following a £50 million move. Number 8, Thierry Henry. Now, you might think that we're having a massive go at Arsenal and Liverpool here, but they seriously do have a history of going back on their words when it comes to selling players. So, pipe down, you trolls. However, it did take Arsene Wenger just 12 days to break his promise to Arsenal fans. It is more down to imagination than anything else. Thierry Henry will be here next season. I can guarantee that. Yes, of course. It seems that an Arsene Wenger promise is a little bit like Tom Cleverley, completely bloody useless. Anyway, in less than two weeks after Wenger said that, Henri had signed for £16 million to Barcelona, which when you think about it was an absolute steal. And number nine, Javier Mascarano and Xabi Alonso. Jesus Christ, Liverpool, stop it. Just stop it. Someone seriously needs to try and block all the flights to Barcelona in order to keep Coutinho in the Premier League. Anyway, in 2009, Rafa said that there was absolutely no way that Mascarano and Alonso were going anywhere. Rafa actually claimed that Barcelona couldn't afford Mascarano and just there was just no way that Alonso would be leaving Liverpool. Not a chance. And a month later, Alonso had left to join Real Madrid. And then a year later, Liverpool once again said that, oh, Mascarano isn't for sale. And then he signed for Barcelona. Now, all we're really saying here is if your club says we're not going to sell that player, what they really mean is we're going to sell them as soon as we can. And that's our list of doom and gloom. Do you think Coutinho will leave to join Barcelona? Let us know in the comments below. 
and subscribe if you haven't already. And why not hit that like button to ensure that your favorite player stays at your club? Because we really do have that power.